Hey you guys and welcome to another video. So today I'll be sharing to you my assumptions about law school. By the way, I'm Jeremiah and I upload law school and law student related vlogs. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to click subscribe and click the notification bell sa tabi na subscribe. Or you can just click the circle na click here sa my corner. So let's get to the video. Okay guys, so today nga po is I'm gonna share to you my assumptions sa law school. Since I am now officially enrolled na law student for school year 2019-2020, dito sa YouTube, you can find there are a lot of videos about assumptions. Assumptions about themselves or parang ganun. But today, I'm going to give you, to share to you, my assumptions about law school. So, let's start. First is boring. So, I assume that law school is boring. I do not expect it to be boring, but I assume na law school is boring. Why? Sabi ko lang na boring because it's law school. And of course, it will be discussing about laws. It will be discussing about provisions, con constitutions, parang ganun, crimes, di ba? The topics there are serious topics. Kaya medyo boring siguro siya kasi yun nga. And also, the books, I was able to visit a national bookstore one time. And pinakita sa akin ng kaklasiko yung, yung possible na maging books sa law school and grabe guys ang kapal ng libro ng law and as I was scanning the, the book walang picture so I assume na boring ang discussion sa law school of course baka sabihin yung alam mo parang boring eh ba't ka pa nag law school ba't ka pa nag intro sa law don't worry guys this is just my opinion and I'm going to explain that one later sa my end ng video why ganito ang naging assumption ko about law school and also parang masabi ko rin na parang boring because yung magiging kaklase ko most of them are professionals and of course majority like everyone in the class are graduate na ng college so mas mature ang mga tao doon mas serious siguro ako lang siguro medyo bata yung isip doon pag, pag nagkataon so yun kaya masabi ko na parang medyo boring sa law school number two mahirap mahirap sa law school masabi ko mahirap because of course laws ang daming kailangan pag-aralan the provisions the legislations the crimes may mga criminal law may mga accounting parang may ganun ba may accounting I remember parang may napanggit sa akin na may accounting na, na law daw parang ganun tapos ang daming klase ng law na kailangan i-take up kaya medyo mahirap I assume that ang law school is mahirap yung terms guys marami na makikita na, na terms sa mga memes sa pages ng mga law students sa uh, Twitter accounts ng mga law students they are discussing about memes about Latin words yun kaya I assume na it's it's gonna be a mahirap na subject ang law of course mahirap din siya kasi maraming analysis you're going to analyze a situation di ba sa, sa law school you'll be discussing about mga previous na na-close na na mga cases from 1970s o mas luma pa na mga, mga cases and you're going to analyze everything so guys siguro talagang mahirap ang law school hindi siya biro so I assume na mahirap siya and you'll be doing some researches, case digest, you'll be doing those things. So, I assume mahirap talaga sa law school. Hindi siya biro, guys. Next! I assume na sa law school, there will be lots of memorization needed. Kailangan mo mag-memorize ng maraming maraming bagay sa law school. You have to memorize the procedures mula sa pag-file ng case, blah blah blah, sa mga positions kung saan mga pupunta mula sa ano, sa ganitong level hanggang sa may Supreme Court or whatever. I have no idea. I just assume na mahirap talaga. Marami, mo, marami kang kailangan i-memorize. Iba pa yung term, iba pa yung mga Latin words, iba pa yung mga provisions, di ba? Yung mga articles. So, kailangan i-memorize yun guys may mga Bill of Rights, mga ano, ang daming kailangang i-memorize at saka i-familiarize sa law school. Kaya, I consider that one as may assumption na mahirap kasi maraming mga i-memorize. Next guys would be Readings. Sa law school, since they will be discussing about law, the constitution, and everything, so kailangan ng readings. Maraming readings. Again, sa na-mention ko na kanina, marami akong nagkitang books sa may national bookstore na iba-ibang klase ng law books. And guys, ang kakapal ng mga libro ng law school. And I tell you, sabi ng kaklase ko na isa na ngayong attorney, public attorney, sabi niya, kailangan pa sa'yo lahat. And you have to read in advance before the before the, the class. Kasi there are some professors daw, some attorneys na pa Pagdating sa klase, they'll be asking agad about sa, sa book. So, yun. I assume na ang dami-daming mga kailangang basahin sa law school. Yung mga libro. And not just the libro, ha. May mga ipapa-photocopy pa yan. May mga cases pa yan. May mga case digest na kailangang basahin at kailangang i-analyze. Kaya yun. Ang daming mga readings sa law school. Next! 
essays. Yung kaibigan ko na nag-take ng law school before and she's now a lawyer, malaking bagay daw sa kanya na yung naging pre-law niya na course is mass communication. Why? Kasi sa law school daw guys is maraming mga essays. Of course, this is law school. So I assume wala talaga multiple choice to the ano, ng mga exam. Kung may mga exam na naman multiple choice, it's gonna be minimal. Talagang minimum lang talaga ng mga exams na may mga uh, multiple choice or matching types or true or false, diba ganun? But this one, sa law school guys, I assume na talagang as much as possible, puro essays yung magiging exam. You'll be asked to explain some things sa, ano, sa exam. You'll be going to analyze the case and you're going to, of course, you have to write that in essay form. So, ang daming essay na kailangan gawin. Kaya nga siguro, diba, remember the bar exams? I just, this is just my assumption na baka maraming mga na technical sa bar kasi dun sa essay. Time-bounded yung bar and you have to write talaga, di ba? Handwritten lahat. So, medyo mahirap din ang essay. Kaya yun. I assume na mahirap ang law school dahil may essay. Next! Next will be recitation. Guys, all this time, even mga 2 years or 3 years pa before, or 3 years ago, I started to follow mga Twitter accounts, yung mga Facebook pages na pang law school or pang law students. And most of those are nagmi-mention na about recitations. So, their professors daw, the lawyers, are going to ask the students to recite about the case. So, you'll be given a case ahead, you're going to study that case, and in the next meeting, you are going to recite everything about the case na nabibigyan. So that's called receipts. Yun, you have to, to recite everything. Of course, you have to recite only the facts about the case, yung mga naging findings, yung mga naging verdict, parang ganun. So, there will be a recital and of course, you'll be needing public speaking skills. So yun, I expect na maraming ganyan sa law school and I just hope na kayanin ko yan. Kasi parang medyo mahirap pag marami ng tao, tas yung mga kaklase mo pa medyo mature na and medyo professional. Kaya medyo nakakahiya pag nag-recite tas wala kang masagot, di ba? Please comment kung if you agree na nakakahiya <laughs> Next will be... Law school is pricey or expensive. Yes, law school is pricey. Number one, sa books pa lang guys. Nung nag-check kami ng books sa National Bookstore, ang mahal ng book. Isang book ng isang subject lang yun, tsaka isang book. It already cost 2,500. Parang 2,500 siya. Basta yung range niya is 2,500 to 3,000. Tapos may book din na muntik na mag-5 na makapal na siya. I forgot kung anong, anong subject yun o anong title yung book na yun. Pero sabi ng friend ko na lawyer, yun daw talaga yung ginagamit sa law school. Kaya guys, I assume it will be very expensive. Aside from the books, you are be required to photocopy some cases, some case digest, some reading materials that you have to study. So, additional cost na naman yun. Additional na expenses. So, it's pricey talaga. Iba pa yung miscellaneous fee, tsaka iba pa yung tuition, di ba? Especially those schools na medyo sikat during bar exams, of course, mas expensive dun. So, yun. Law school is expensive. I assume that it will be expensive and kaya nga, starting now, I'm starting to, to at least save some money for my future expenses hindi pa kasama yung ano ha yung mga law school essentials like your highlighters your sticky notes and everything next would be competitive na classmates. Ito. I remember guys, during the field set exam, uh, nagulat ako because I wasn't expecting to see those people sa exam. I saw some people from different ages. I saw some people, some examinees na medyo kaedad na siya ng parents ko, ng mga tito tsaka tita ko, and meron din mga bas bata pa sa akin na nag-take na ng field set, tsaka may mga kaedad din ako. So yun, nakita ko na law school is not exclusive for young people. Law school is for everyone who are interested to take law studies. So, I expect na these people are going to be very competitive. Na-mention na kaibigan ko before. Nung nag-law school siya, may mga kaklase daw siya ng mga officials. Municipal officials. She even had, siguro, mga dalawa o tatlong mayors na naging kaklase sa, sa law school. So, imagine how competitive the class is. If you are surrounded with mga big people na sa klase, so it will be very competitive na, na setup. So, I expect na maraming matalino sa class. Yun nga, yun yung isa sa mga kinakatakot ko na baka hindi ako makapagsalita baka hindi ako maka, maka catch up sa ano sa subject sa classes because of those people yun kaya yun yung kinakatakot ko din na yung mga competitive na mga kaklase next i think this will be my last assumption This is about strict na professors or strict na instructors sa law school. Of course, since this is law, ang magiging instructors natin sa law are lawyers or mga attorneys. Either public attorneys or mga private practicing na attorneys. So, I expect na these lawyers, these, these professors are going to be strict to their students. Of course, they want the students to learn more. So, they'll be very strict towards their students. May, may narinig kasi ako, guys, na mga ano, comments o mga sinir na mga kaibigan ko na nag-law na before, 
are professors daw na talagang nagpapatayo ng students who are not able to recite the facts about the case or ganun. Yung iba daw napapalabas ng ano na students. I'm not sure if pinapalabas pa talaga but I'm very sure with the fact niya may pinapatayo during the class kasi hindi nakapag-study and hindi nakasagot sa mga recitations. May iba din daw ng mga attorneys, mga professors na wala silang ibibigay ng mga pointers ko nung mga i-discuss bukas. So you have to read in advance daw talaga. Like pagpasok mo sa room, sabi nila, okay, what is the blah blah blah. Parang ganun guys, parang ambush siya na ano. Okay, so yun lang guys. So far, those are my assumptions about law school. If you don't notice, uh, majority or I think lahat ng mga nasabi ko are negative assumptions about law school. Baka nga sabihin nyo na, ang dami mong mga negative na iniisip. Eh, ba't ka pa nag-law school? Eh, yun pala iniisip mo. Kasi guys, ganito yan. If you don't know, I was an OFW for 6 years and of course, OFW nagtatrabaho sa labas ng country sa Malayo. So, ginagawa ko kasi before, before ako umaalis ng bansa, I always tell myself, I always set my mind about negative things na mga pwedeng mangyari sa, sa work. Sabihin ko, you'll be working sa malayo, expect na it will take you ilang taon bago ka makauwi, then you'll be experiencing more mga sleepless nights siguro, I'll be expecting mga homesickness during the entire na trabaho ko sa labas ng bansa. Mas maganda kasi guys, para sa akin na you'll be expecting the negative para pagdating dun, ma-disappoint ka man, eh, ma-disappoint ka na good way. Yun ang sinabi ko kanina, I will be feeling like a lot of homesickness in the following months, parang ganun. Pero pagdating ko naman dun sa ibang bansa, sabi ko, ay hindi naman pala. Parang ganun ba? Kasi nag-expect ako na mahirap masyado but pagdating sa actual na, na, na scenario is hindi naman pala. So yun yung ginagawa ko ngayon. I'm trying to set my mind na parang mahirap sa law school na parang ganito dapat i-expect para pagdating ng time na actual talaga na nasa law school na ako, at least I'll be saying kaya naman pala. Parang ganun. Just remember this guys, this thing is for sure. Maliman yung mga assumptions ko o yung mga assumptions nyo din dyan, law school will either make you or break you. Yun lang talaga. Okay, so I think that's it guys. If you have your comments about my assumptions, please write down below. And kayo, what are your assumptions? Let me know kung anong mga inaassume nyo. Kung parehas ba tayo ng assumption about law school. Kung may mga hindi ako nabanggit na pwedeng maging assumptions sa law school, please comment that one sa baba. Okay? So I'll be expecting that you will comment that one below para makapag-reply din ako. And yes, I want to thank everyone for our growing family. Guys, we are growing as a tribe. We are growing as a family dito sa YouTube. So again, if you are new to this channel and pag hindi ka pa nakapag-subscribe, please click the subscribe button and click the notification bell para ma-notify ka pag may na-upload ako na bagong videos. So, that's it for now and I will see you in my next video.